In this video, we take a look at 11 people with some of the weirdest medical conditions on the planet, including tree-like hands, an allergy to water, and plenty of bemused and frustrated sufferers. 12-year-old Texan girl Caitlin Thornley is particularly blessed, not because she's especially fortunate, but because she literally can't stop sneezing. She sneezes up to 12,000 times every single day, which adds up to one involuntary nose trumpet every 3 to 6 seconds, or 10 to 20 every minute. The mucus mystery began just after she left one of her clarinet lessons, so she initially assumed it was some sort of allergy or reaction to the instrument. But it soon got a lot worse, and there have been no reports of it stopping since. Speaking to reporters about the condition, she said, I am constantly in pain with my abdomen. My legs are weak. I can barely eat. Her only respite is in sleep, when she drifts off after taking some Benadryl, but no one is able to diagnose the root of the problem. Her parents have taken Caitlin to six physicians, but no one can work out the solution, though all have confirmed that it's not an illness or an allergy. Some have speculated that the violent and snot-snuffed problem might be a tick or a short circuit in her brain, which incorrectly sends a misleading signal to her nostrils. Caitlin is unable to attend school and can no longer play the clarinet, and she even claims that she sneezes in her dreams. Haley Smith from Alabama, USA, had a pretty strong reaction to her parents' divorce. Sadness? Check. Depression? Check. Thinking she's a corpse? Wait, what? Yup. For three years after the torrid divorce of her parents, Haley began obsessively watching horror movies and visiting graveyards, and sincerely believed that she was dead. She told journalists, I'd fantasize about having picnics in graveyards and I'd spend a lot of time watching horror films because seeing the zombies made me feel relaxed, like I was with family. But there was some bright sides. She also confessed that she decided to eat whatever she wanted because she couldn't put on weight if she was dead. She was eventually diagnosed with Cotard syndrome, which is linked to other mental illnesses such as bipolar and depression, and causes sufferers to think that either they or parts of their body are dead. Past victims have starved themselves to death in a mistaken belief that they no longer need to eat. She eventually healed herself by finding a boyfriend and watching Disney movies. Seriously. She later told reporters being a corpse was the most bizarre experience, which sounds like an understatement at its best. Bangladeshi Abul Bandajar was dubbed the Tree Man after, at the age of 15, he started to develop bark-like warts and growths on his hands. His super rare condition, known as Epoderma dysplasia varicoformis, causes huge warts, tumors, and growths to develop on the body, partially due to a massive increase in keratin, the substance responsible for the growth of fingernails and toenails. Speaking to journalists while suffering from the disease, he said, It makes me so uncomfortable, restless, that I cannot stand or sit in one place. It just drives me crazy. He is one of only four people in the entire world who has ever been diagnosed with the disease, and also has the lumpy lesions on his feet. Abul recently traveled to the Bangladeshi capital of Dakar to receive surgery on his hands and feet. After more than 16 operations, he is now able to feed himself and hold his daughter. He still has many lumps and bumps, but his condition is much better than before. He and his family lived in the hospital for over a year while he underwent extensive and lengthy treatments. Speaking from his hospital bed after the surgery was completed, he told reporters, I never thought I would be able to hold my kid with my hands. Now I feel so much better. I can hold my daughter in my lap and play with her. I can't wait to go back home. Brad Williams is known as Memory Man thanks to his uncanny ability to recall and remember the exact details of any given day in his 60-year-long life. Give him any event, personal or public, and he can recall the exact date, year, and day of when it happened. And perhaps even more crazy, if you give him a random date, he can accurately give you a load of details on what happened on that day, including world events, political happenings, sporting results, and more. He is one of less than 30 people in the world who has been diagnosed with hyperthermesia, the name given to those in possession of a profoundly detailed memory. He has appeared on TV numerous times and published a book about his abilities, and he never forgets where he left his keys. 
16-year-old Ruben Samo from Georgia, USA, was playing soccer when he suffered a near-fatal concussion. He was kicked in the head and stopped breathing many times before being placed into a coma for several days. And this is where the weird bit starts. He allegedly awoke from the coma speaking, and only speaking, perfect Spanish, a language which, before, he could not speak fluently. For the first few days after waking up, he claimed that every time he tried to speak English, he felt as if he was going to have a seizure. Over the course of the following few days, he slowly regained his ability to speak English, and his Spanish gradually dwindled. Although scientists don't know the exact cause of the bizarre lingo phenomenon, they do believe it might actually be the brain readjusting to the use of language. This makes the sufferer produce sounds and speech patterns which they typically wouldn't. In turn, bemused listeners mistake this for full fluency, when the sufferers are in fact just speaking in a different accent with some foreign words thrown in. That said, no one is sure of the truth. No bueno. In 2015, eight-year-old Mohammed Kalim underwent surgery to deal with a crazy condition which left him with the biggest hands in the world. His massive fingers, arms, and hands caused some nosy neighbors in his local Indian village to cruelly consider him to be a demon or evil spirit. His uncle told reporters, There's no treatment for this boy. He's a devil's child. This is just because his parents must have committed a wrong deed at some point in their life. Doctors, who aren't so superstitious, diagnosed him with localized giantism, a condition which causes certain parts of the body to swell and grow to colossal proportions. Before he was taken for surgery, his hands weighed almost 15 pounds each, and his palms measured 13 inches in length. He was unsurprisingly unable to perform a number of everyday tasks, such as dressing, bathing, and eating. Throughout his young life, he was bullied by his peers and was denied admission to school in fear that he would scare other children with his gigantic hands and fingers. The surgery has been a partial success and has largely reduced the size of his hands, though they are still vastly bigger than they should be. Utah girl Alexandra Allen first knew something was up when she developed itchiness, hives, and severe dryness after splashing around in a swimming pool on a family vacation. Upon having the same reaction after swimming in a lake, she was convinced there must be a problem. After a few years of suffering from these symptoms, every time she touched water, she decided it was time to see a doctor. The diagnosis session involved sitting in a tub of the stuff, which Alexandra claims felt like being tortured. Doctors eventually realized that she suffers from aquagenic urticarial, which is, in plain terms, an allergy to water, and has been diagnosed only around 50 times in the history of the planet. The condition usually starts around puberty and affects females more often than males, though doctors can't work out the reason it occurs. Some speculate that the sweat glands see the water as an intruder. Alexandra now has to keep her contact with water to an absolute minimum, a laborious lifestyle which includes quick and infrequent showers and no humid weather. So unfortunately, no more family vacations. Minnesota twins Abigail and Brittany Hensel are a little different than most siblings. That's because they are literally attached to each other. They completely share a body, but they each have their own head. Although they have to divide their one body between two people, they each have their own heart, stomach, spine, and lungs. Each twin controls their own half of their body, so any activity involving coordination such as walking, swimming, running, driving, or eating requires the cooperation of both twins. When learning to drive, each girl had to take a separate test from the other, which means that they both, in effect, had to take the test twice. They also have distinct personalities with different likes and dislikes in the worlds of food, fashion, friends, and men, which must make sex a little awkward. These differences also mean that one twin can catch an illness without the other suffering from it. When they were born, their parents were offered the chance to separate them, but they decided against it as it would most likely have resulted in the death of one or both girls. The girls did, however, have one rudimentary central third arm removed in an operation. They graduated from university in 2012. They once had their own show on American TV channel TLC and have also appeared on Oprah Winfrey. They are now teachers, and it's not all bad. Their lucky students get the help of two tutors. Young Indian boy Deepak Paswan underwent surgery in 2010 to remove from his body the limbs of his parasitic conjoined twin. 
Though less ominous than it sounds, he was born with the semi-developed arms and legs of a conjoined twin growing out of the very center of his chest, leaving him with the grand total of eight limbs. This condition occurs when, in the womb of the mother, one unhealthy twin attaches itself to the healthier sibling in an unsuccessful attempt to survive. Before the successful surgery, many superstitious neighbors saw him as something inhuman, with some claiming that he was a god, and others swearing he was born of the devil. Some would stone or hit him upon seeing him, while others would make pilgrimages to his village, believing he was an incarnation of the eight-limbed Hindu god Vishnu. His impoverished family appealed publicly for money to help with the surgery which they were lucky enough to receive. Before the surgery, his father said, when he was born, the doctor said he wouldn't live long, but here he is, apart from how he looks, he is very healthy. Deepak himself told reporters, I am tired of being different, I just want to live normally. Since the operation, it seems that he now does. 47-year-old Bangladeshi father Shadat Hossein is covered from head to toe with hundreds of bulbous growths and tumors. Doctors believe he's suffering from neurofibromatosis, which causes tumors to grow along the nerves of a person's body. He noticed his first tumor at the age of 13, and things have gotten progressively worse since then. The tumors cause him massive pain, which means he is unable to wear clothes on his top half, needs help to use the toilet, and often cannot feed himself. Even excess chewing causes his neck to hurt. His condition may soon cause him to become blind. Speaking to reporters about his condition, he said, The moment anyone sees me, they try to move away from me. The kids, when they see me, they just freak out and start running. I cannot go outside because children are afraid of me. He also added, They call me monster. I wasn't always in this condition. I was handsome in my young age. His 12-year-old son Abdullah is also afraid of him. Shadat says, Nowadays, Abdullah doesn't talk to me. I understand why he feels like that. Because of his condition, he is unable to work and therefore unable to raise money for surgery. He is trying to do so via a charity drive. Doctors say they have never before seen someone in such an extreme condition. <laughs> 